crazy fucking grandma this whole time. See, I called it earlier. Granny was going to be the last boss. Man, I fucking called that shit. <clears throat> I fucking knew it. Damn you, Grandma. She was all retarded, sitting in her wheelchair. Now she's moving around. What? Are, what are, does this do anything? No. Why am I seeing this? Uh, brings back memories of just like 10 hours ago. Well, not really. Of yesterday. Itch? There wasn't a bed in there before, was there? No, because that's where the secret door was. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. <laughs> but you shouldn't have done that! That's where she stabs my hand in the fucking wall. It fucking hurts! Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Mommy's turn to kill you. Wait, what? She initially attacked us up there. So I'm assuming up there is where we need to go. But my own curiosity makes me wonder what's this <laughs> way. No, I guess not. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! The hell? So did that actually hurt me, or...? Maybe I could have just blocked. Like, fuck you, bitch. Alright, so I guess her attacking me in this hallway was a sign to go back. Still, what's with this doll? Fuck this doll. Yep, this is the way I'm... Okay... My packages. Is she floating? Bitch, are you floating? There's a door there. Do I go through the door? I kind of expected something to be behind me. I 
so I think you have to block like right as she's about to scream. And then stop blocking and walk forward. This is really creepy. I'm just gonna spam. launcher. I should have used that. Okay then. There's no escaping from Evelyn. Just keep attacking her and stay out of her way. Well, I mean, I can't really stay out of her way. It's a linear hallway. What do you expect from me? and this is good. dead, ain't I? Fuck. I'm trying to reload. Oh god. Oh, ow. Someone tell me to use it. 
Who was that? <clears throat> Did it tell me a name in that? Play time's over. Get out of here, bitch. Looks like she's drying up. Woo! Uh, did one of the military or whoever it was in the helicopters toss this down to me or something? Redfield. I'm glad we found you. What? The fuck took Chris? So long. Chris Redfield? What? That was not Chris Redfield. say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Was that Chris fucking Redfield? Oh, is this our way of doing credits? That's actually a pretty cool way to do credits. But uh, that's going to end Resident Evil 7. A, uh, man, was that a good fucking game. Very not what I was expecting. My kind of, my worries as I was going into this game was I kind of felt like Capcom may have been in that, or not is it Capcom? The fuck? I think it is Capcom that does this game. Is it? Fuck. I'm like having a fucking brain fart right now. I'm pretty sure it is Capcom. Let me grab the the case just to be sure because I'm losing my mind. Yes, it is Capcom. God damn. I don't know why. I was just severely doubting myself on that for some reason. But uh, I really felt like Capcom could have been in that phase where it's like, Okay, it's been several years since Resident Evil 6, which I think came out like, what, 2012 at this point? So it's about time for another Resident Evil game. And I think maybe they were at the drawing board. Like, this is my theory. This is what I'm thinking. Like, maybe they were at the drawing board. They were like, okay, we know the last few Resident Evils haven't been very well received. So we got to do something different. I think they took to the drawing board. 
And then PT came out, which was like, what, 2000? That was probably 2014, I think, is when PT came out. So they definitely had time. They, they saw PT, and they knew that they had to, that PT was starting a wave of other games to be like it, like Layers of Fear, for example. So they were like, okay, PT was huge. People liked the way that went, and VR is going to be a huge thing. Uh, that's coming to the consoles. So I feel like Capcom kind of jumped on the bandwagon of VR and to the wave that PT made and was like, okay, let's decide to call it Resident Evil because if this turns out good, that's going to bring our established franchise back again. Even if it is taking the series in a whole new different direction, they don't care. They could have just been like, Another thing I'm thinking of is maybe they were making a, a virtual reality uh, PT-like game and decided, you know what, this would be the perfect... This game is actually turning out pretty fucking good. Let's plop Resident Evil's name on this thing, and it can revitalize the series in a big, bad way, something Capcom really needed, because they could have been making this game, decided that it was originally going to be like a, a new... Uh, IP or something like that and IPs these or companies these days have a hard time doing new IPs because it's not guaranteed the IP is going to do very well that's why you see sequel after sequel after sequel because uh, usually if you have an established franchise you release a new game in that franchise it's more than likely going to sell it's going to move some units so Capcom may have started out making like a new series with this game and they're like wait we need Resident Evil to be what it once was. So they're like, so they were making this game. They're like, shit, this is actually turning pretty good. Let's plop Resident Evil's name on this, and this will bring Resident Evil back up to what it needed to be. Now hold on, I'm reading Chris Redfield. That was fucking Chris Redfield. That did not look anything like Chris Redfield. I'm sorry. That did not look like Resident Evil 5 Chris Redfield. They changed him a little bit in 6, but he still looked reminiscent. That guy was totally different. I know the two graphical styles in these between 6 and 7 is way different, but come on. Like, you gotta... I don't know what they're doing here. It's like... I mean, this is more excessive than fucking Uncharted changing the look of... Uh... What was her name? Elena? The blonde one, Nathan's wife, and Uncharted 4. Fuck. Was her name Elena? I'm just fucking blanking right now. It's 5.31 in the morning. I've been... I'm tired. But... Yeah, I think Capcom could have been, like, making a new uh, franchise. They're like, wait, this shit's turning out good. Let's plop Resident Evil on it. And to make it just a little reminiscent of Resident Evil, they decided to call that one guy at the end, Chris Redfield, and throw in a bunch of like older uh, Resident Evil things like the, the puzzles the uh, you know like that door required that little plate puzzle or whatever get the three dog heads stuff like that so I threw a couple things in there to make it feel and reminiscent of older Resident Evil games and change the story a bit to where it fit the Resident Evil universe in a way that's what I feel like Capcom could have done I have a hard time believing that they went with like the earlier development of this game, I have a hard time believing it. It's been a Resident Evil game from the very beginning. I just have a hard time believing that. But now it's very curious as to what Resident Evil 8's going to be. And that's probably not going to come out for a while. They're probably still going to come out with another offshoot Resident Evil. M maybe, hopefully. In my head, I'm thinking maybe. A Revelations 3 maybe I would like that but who knows when we're gonna see 8 but it makes me really wonder are they gonna do like this style game again for Resident Evil 8 or maybe Capcom's thinking or maybe what they could do 
is, is if I'm them, maybe do something different again for Resident Evil 8. Because, I mean, if they did, like, this style game again for Resident Evil 8, I think people would like it and I think the game would do well, but I just don't see it... Because when you have a third-person game, it's a little easier, I feel, to make, you know, like, incremental changes that make it worthwhile. With a game like this, with Resident Evil 7... If they did it again, I feel like they would have to really do some things different to make the game really stand out, or people are just going to feel like it was pretty much another Resident Evil 7, so I've... I'm not really sure. I feel like they'd have to do something different again, but I don't know. Going this route, I think, was a, a pretty good idea. Hopefully, like, this game was more of a an introduction to a new kind of story line a new virus the e series virus or whatever and hopefully with resident evil 8 maybe they're gonna make the same style game the first person stuff like that survival horror but hopefully they won't be more afraid to tie it in with resident evil hopefully they will bring us some characters we're familiar with you know like Maybe we can play as Chris Redfield. Maybe we could play as Leon Kennedy. Maybe we could play as Claire. Uh, Jill Valentine. Something, you know? I mean, heck, we haven't seen what Jill's been up to since, like, after Resident Evil, what, 5? I don't think she was in Resident Evil 6. And I'm pretty sure by the end of Resident Evil 5, she was pretty much still alive. I can't remember. Was she still alive at the end of Resident Evil 5? I'm pretty sure she was. Heck, even if she wasn't, they could tell another story with with her or whatever. Give it, Let us play as Jill Valentine in a Resident Evil 7 style game, for Christ's sake. But, uh, or hell, they brought, they introduced Jacob, Wesker's son, in Resident Evil 6. Let's play as him in a first person game or whatever. Although, I guess if you're going to play as him, it'd have to be more action based, because he was kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like your badass action hero type dude. So, not really a hero, I guess anti-hero in a way but I don't know it just makes me really curious what they're going to do next because I was not expecting Resident Evil 7 to be you know this different from 6 and 5 but I can't imagine they're going to I can't imagine they would do this again with 8 not that I would really mind them doing like I said if they just made it more connected if they were more since this game is apparently doing well I, we, I don't know anything about sales numbers yet because the game only came out fucking two days ago. But at the time of me finishing this recording, it came out two days ago. So I don't know any sales figures or anything. So I, I mean, everything I've seen, it's been getting pretty damn good reviews. So hopefully with 8, if they are going to do this again, hopefully they'll be more confident in really connecting it with the Resident Evil uh, world and characters but I'm curious as to I just yeah, like I said I wouldn't mind if they did this again and but just connected it more but I just don't see them doing that I don't know if I see them although I guess I mean if they know this formula works I guess I could see them taking the safe route and doing it again but I'm really not I really don't know what to think Pebble the fuck oh was the smart was that watch on our wrist in the game a an actual pebble smartwatch oh like i own a pebble smartwatch i own the original version but i was gonna say that that watch looking back at it did look like a pebble smartwatch a lot with the three buttons on the side the newer model does have circular kind of not like kind of rounded corners huh wonder why they did that had an actual did it say pebble on it did i miss that the whole time 